There is the AW591 and that is the DW-5600 and that is the Frogman GWF1000 That is the GWNQ1000 MC That is the GSDB100 and that is the GWNQ1000 MB and that is the GWFT1000 30E And that's my cat over there And today I'm wearing the Magma Ocean GPS Range Man model But we're not gonna have a look at any one of this model today since there is it triple baby g review video by the end of the video i'm hoping you guys could differentiate either you should get this this or this or none of this at all so let's get started by having a look at this square baby g this is the bg-5600 model literally an alternative to the square DW-5600 model over here so this one is a vintage model it operates on a Casio 1545 instead of 3230 if I'm not mistaken so this is the smaller size version there it is and the biggest problem that I find in this baby G model regardless of how the colorway is is that the display panel will end up looking like this like a portion of it will became to fade over time so if you are thinking about getting one of these consider this kind of issue happening in the future i'm not sure if this is like a batch thing or just a few models but i've seen a lot of baby g end up being like this from the same series but regardless if you own one of these if thinking about getting one it has four button operation date and time it has world time function like so and it has stopwatch to 60 minutes and also countdown timer and next uh just five alarm if i'm not mistaken and then you'll go back to home time keeping and one big feature about this baby g is that it has this dual led light instead of el backlighting it will close in orange and that is pretty cool that uh, usually led will only be applied or added on on an energy model like this i mean look at that this guy even only have one of them this guy have two of them so that's very very cool so as far as the strap goes it looks like that it's obviously gonna give you guys a really really good fit but uh well the paint's already cheap off as you can see look at that so depending on the condition of your watch do uh, look forward to end up looking like this in the future if you beat it up so moving on to the next baby g which also came in square shape i gotta say this one is bigger than this it almost have a similar sizing as this dw-5600 if you look at it from the side you can see that it's almost like the same with the thickness is almost the same as well and the length of the strap obviously it is shorter so that's why if you have a skinny wrist baby g is the best option for you not for me though i have a skinny wrist but i don't care about the fit you know just wear what i like so some people do care about the fit you don't want to have any extended tongue at the side so baby g so this is the bgd-501 shock resistant and still still back made in china ga this one in front of my second was made in thailand why what's resistant to, to 10 bar yeah it operates on calcium 2994 this one is 3290 20 bar water resistance so that is very very cool usually babies you will only came with 10 bar and this guy is 20 bar and i could kind of feel it because it feels different the weight is somewhat the same as a g-shock watch and i'm very impressed with this pbg model especially when you consider it came in this tri-color uh, red green and yellow should i say rastafarian team which is quite popular today especially for collectors this is not for everyday guy you know if you want something simple get white or black this is for the collectors and that's why i own one of this as well i bought this from um, a thrift store in japan i'm gonna make a video of a thrift store visit and show you guys how much the price that i buy to get one of these sitting on shelf so that's a very very cool video go check that out uh, i gotta say the thickness of the strap feels different this one I mean look at that both of them is resin polyurethane but this one is thicker i got i gotta say this one feels a lot more high quality so if you are considering a square baby g get this one instead again bgd 500 this is the bg 5600 model so for the function go dated and time as well and next you'll have a world time then you'll have stopwatch a countdown timer five alarm including snooze and signal and the next and that's pretty much it obviously and it only have the el backlighting which you can close in white colorway not as bright because it is white but it could work if you're gonna be using this at night time so if you compare this to the square model i gotta say this one seems to be better the square model only half did it in time 
a single alarm would have a date set up and a countdown timer and stopwatch and back to home time so this one has more feature that is five alarm and the world time function that the square model didn't have so overall i gotta say this thing is better the strap even feels much more high quality compared to the square model on the low end side the dash 5600 model so last but not least it's one of the most popular model being knocked off a lot out there there's like hundreds versions fake version of this like literally are almost the same it's almost impossible to tell the difference unless you open up the back plate and see how the engine looks like from the inside so let's have a look this is called the BA-110CA it operates on Kiasu 5238 stainless steel back Japan movement case in China baby g stamp shockers is to only 10 bars so not as tough as this one but it looks really really tough it has the appearance of the ga110 and that is the reason why Casio released this model because the ga110 is so popular back in 2002 after 2013 that Casio decided to release a smaller version called the g-shock mini and there's the also alternative version which is slightly smaller than the g-shock mini they call this the baby g and obviously since it was made for women wear so that's why the colors came in this baby blue jelly black uh, band keeper uh, really roundish uh, buckle where the G-Shock watch came in square rugged looking but the overall appearance of the watch face is very much similar the button operation is still the same it still has those textured buttons similar as the GA G-Shock version GA110 the strap design is almost the same it is squared off at the end so they are almost the same but the function not the same at all the G-Shock watch has a special dial over here to measure speed in this case it didn't have that feature at all so let's go back to home time you'll have date and time and uh, yeah you could swap that to day display day display or digital time display and next you have a world time similar as the g-shock one but the g-shock will enter the stopwatch first and then you'll have alarm they have one two three four snooze and signal and next you'll have a stopwatch there it is with the graphics going on over there but there are no speed measuring capabilities but you do have split time Next, you'll have a countdown timer to where is it? There it is, to 24 hour range. And next, we'll go back to home time keeping. And the LED light will go from 6 o'clock position, only one of them, so it is similar as the G Shock version. But overall, it is missing the speed measuring capabilities, and the rest is pretty much the same as G Shock. This size is smaller, but if you compare this to this, I gotta say this one is better, but if you are into any DG model, this is it. I mean, analog version is much better in terms of visibility. You could literally see the watch at this angle, whereas when you're wearing one of this, you cannot see the time at all. So it is much more practical in a way, uh, much more practical when you are just doing a day-to-day -day thing, you know, you are writing down or you're just sitting on a table, just stare at the watch like that at that angle could instantly tell you the time. So it is a little bit more efficient compared to full digital models. That is why. Well, that's for this guy. This is massive. You can see it. Look at that. Even from that angle over there. So that's good. That's why I own a lot of NADG models, you know, because they are a lot more practical in my opinion. For the fit, uh, I don't have to explain it. They are insanely uh, good. Really, really good. If you have a small race, Baby G. Just go for Baby G. They are insanely cheap as well. Like, I don't know, I mean, they, they have so much function, sometimes they are much better than G-Shock and the price is much lower, so you really get a lot of value for the price that you paid to go out of this. Thank you very much for watching. This is Jeff. And I'm